Welcome back to Hobson's Choice Harleys. Uh, today we're going to start working on this special construction bike. I'm going to be uh, tearing the transmission down. A buddy of mine needs the four speed. I made a deal with him on that transmission. Plus, it's going to be my son Michael's bike. Uh, it's a Craft Trek frame special construction. We're going to pull this STD motor out and this four speed ratchet top out. Um, and I have a 79 FXS shovel head motor with a cow pie transmission um, whole drivetrain that we're going to stick in this bike for Mikey. Um, so stay tuned, watch the progress. And again, I'm very well prepared. I have none of the tools I need out, but that's okay. Good times. Okay, so I bought this bike out of Phoenix. Uh, started it once, drove it around the block a few times. Uh, it is a stroked out shovel head with STD cases. So this motor is actually going to uh, be a project sometime in the future. Um, I haven't measured it, but I'm pretty sure I got 96 inch stroke on this thing. Uh, Fun motor, it is a fun motor. The story I got, you know how stories go, is this gentleman was a Harley Davidson mechanic out of Phoenix and had built this bike, special ordered the uh, cases for it as STD shovel head lower with uh, Evo top in. So it'll be interesting to see as we get into this, what's in there. Well, so far so good. It looks like it's got a really nice clutch basket in there. And we're gonna have to dump all this oil, so. Okay, so the video had shut off for whatever reason, probably the compressor. Uh, so we're still working on tearing this out. Mikey's on the other side working on getting the uh, starter wires disconnected from the stator so that we can also pull that starter from underneath the oil bag. Then we're gonna try and get this inner primary off and see how much fun we're gonna have getting this transmission out. Uh, but so far, so good. This is, like I said, I bought this bike out of Phoenix. The guy built it, worked for uh, Phoenix Harley Davidson. Some really high-end parts on it and some really funky stuff done. The sludge in the bottom of this is gritty grimy. Um, so it's a good thing I didn't try and run this bike too much. And then you can see a little better shot of the silicone snot everywhere. Um, not a good thing. I'm glad it's isolated in the primary. Hopefully he didn't do the same thing on the motor side stuff. Uh, you get that RTV up in your motor and you're talking about shelling a motor real quick. You can grenade a motor, you get that RTV in the wrong spots. How we doing? All good. All good. So it should be wire disconnected. Now, do you have the 7 16 that you had? We're gonna just try and get as much of this stuff out of the way. Like I said, this is a total teardown so that we can put a new motor and transmission in it. Um, do you have the other one that was the... Oh, I did have 716. 716? Yeah, I'll put that one back. And as you can tell, I got parts scattered here. I got tools scattered here. I've actually got more tools scattered in the garage from the other videos because I've, I got shit in three different shops and I don't know where any of it is in any of them. So we're pulling stuff apart, we're trying to drag the wires out with us and save all this stuff because I'm a packer and I save everything. And you just never know what you're going to need from one day to the next. He's on his side trying to chase it. So what they've got is they've got a, a starter relay over here. So the starters take up so much juice that you have to put a relay or your little handlebar button won't do it. I typically put a bigger style spring-loaded starter button, then you can eliminate that relay. Your uh, starter button on these are up in the handlebars and they're just, the wiring is so small they won't handle the current it takes to fire that up. So the relay Mike's trying to get out of there actually engages first and then the wire goes up to your handlebars. So we'll probably rewire all that when we get to uh, putting that shovel head motor in here. I'm a big fan of the uh, seven wire chopper wiring system. Um, 
I don't like bells and whistles. I don't run speedos. I don't run blinkers. I run high beam, low beam, brake light, tail light, coil and ignition. Everything else is just foo-foo. In that bottom drawer over there in the blue box. Oh, we got phone calls. Blue box, that would be the yellow box. <laughs> bottom drawer should be a set of side cutters there. The little dice. See the green wire? You cut just the green wire if you can. Isn't that in like the Matrix or one of those bomb movies? <laughs> cut the green wire. Oh no, it exploded! Okay, so we're gonna try and pull just that green wire out. So the other side of that comes up to the circuit breaker mm -hmm. up here and then feeds up to the handlebars. So we're getting more of this stuff out. We got the uh, solenoid off, uh, which is good. I can get to some of these parts. You can see the rubber boot that's made to isolate that is, you know, a little past its life expectancy. Um, old bikes, you gotta love them. We've also got to get this starter motor out of there. So this one we might be able to... Yeah, I was dreaming. So we got to get to both sides of that because she's spinning back there. So this uh, primary is isolated, which means you keep your clutch oil in the primary, which isolates the engine oil from the clutch oil from the transmission oil, which is actually a great thing. So what they did here, if you can see the blue silicone, blue silicone, blue silicone, instead of taking the time to isolate this case and keep the oil in here correctly, they just uh, put a lot of blue crap in there and ran a bolt through it. Is it the end of the world? No. Would I have done it that way? Probably not. Um, so that's part of working with old bikes. You find out all kinds of different stuff. You find different pieces of funk. You find all this slime in here you know this bike had set for four years when i bought it i did run it uh drove it around the block a few times it runs like a scalded dog um, but it's good to tear this down and like i said this std case is a very hybrid custom ordered case shovel head lower stroked 96 inch with an evo top end and a ratchet speed four top four speed transmission uh it's a weird bunch of parts put together. So we are taking this transmission or this motor and transmission, basically the whole drivetrain out of this chassis. And this is going to be my son Mike's bike. He wanted this bike. It's a craft tech frame, kind of has an FLH look to it. And we're going to stick a 80 cubic inch shovel head motor from 1979. The transmission is going to my buddy, Eric. We had a, a deal with it. He needs this transmission for a pan head. He's building an electric start pan head like I did on my 62 pan head. So we're, we're goal, or my goal today is to get this transmission out of here so I can crate it up and send it to, I think it's Wisconsin. I'll have to check on that. So basically that's where we're at. We're gonna pull the rest of this primary and keep playing with trying to get that transmission out of here. If this is loose, which it should be, uh-huh. I love it when it works that smooth. We're gonna pull this out. And there you can see transmission. And I probably will take some of the leaves out and not send those to my boy Eric in Wisconsin. Um, so that's where we're at, next stage of the process. The starter is loose on that side. Um, just crusty, musty old stuff. But we'll uh, pull it apart and then probably pull the case apart, pull the top of the ratchet top get a look inside, make sure that uh, it's a sound transmission. I know it ran great and shifted through all the gears. Uh, I just don't want to send parts to anybody that aren't exactly as agreed upon. So that's where we're at. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and drain the oil out of this. I'm hoping to not have to pull this oil bag to get the transmission, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to. So let's see how nasty this oil is. Is this oil gonna be as nasty as the primary clutch oil? Let's see, one. Two, here we go. So the old school trick. Actually, it don't feel bad. I've seen worse. It flows. I've actually seen it come out crunchy. And there's no white foam, which is an indication of water in the oil. So, so far so good. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, continue on trying to get this transmission out. 
So we got to get these pipes or at least the, the rear pipe out. So we're going to get that off first. And then you can tell what we're trying to do is get the pipes out so we can get this bracket, get the starter out, and then see if we can wiggle this transmission out. Chances are pretty good the oil tank has to come out, but we'll see. One part at a time. So if we got that out, then we'll come over here. Almost, almost. So I'm going to grab a different wrench here. Where is it? Okay. That's called a ratcheting wrench. Pulling this pipe out. And this is the rear pipe. It came out. We had this bracket in the pipe. These are a nice set of Python headers or exhaust pipes. Here we're not going to clear. I'm going to have to take this front pipe off and probably this bracket to be able to get any further along. So onward and upward. Okay, so we got everything loosened out. We're going to pull this front pipe. That's called a thunder cone. They put those in there to give you a little bit of horsepower on a Python 3. These are a nice set of pipes. The thunder cones, some guys say they're the absolute best thing ever. Some say they're junk. I've ran them both ways. I don't see a difference either way, but that, that's what it is. So there's back pipe done. Okay, so next we're going to pull this bracket. This is actually just a little starter bracket that holds the back of the starter. We already got the whole starter disconnected, so this should be as easy as those two bolts. And let's see if we have starter removal done. Let's see, maybe just these two together. Keep shit out of the way. Okay, so we're making progress on this special construction bike. So this is special construction because the frame is aftermarket. It's a craft tech frame and it's got an Arizona assigned title up here. So it's not a Harley. It's basically special construction. It's been built in a garage. So that's what we're doing is we're taking this out. So this is a old school ratchet top four-speed transmission. Um, mostly shovel heads had these. Pan heads did have them, but the mounting brackets were a little different. The shovel head ones are actually made for electric start is the main difference between the four-speed ratchet tops of old versus the shovel head. This here is kind of a Frankenstein motor. These were special ordered STD lower case jugs or not jugs, excuse me, crankcases. So it's an STD case for a shovel head because you have to have a shovel head mated to a shovel head. Um, and then what they've done is the top end of this, which is from here up, is an Evo, which is the next generation motor. Evo is the evolution Harley motors that came back in the mid 80s when AMF was bought out by Willie Davidson. He bought the company back. AMF had Harley Davidson from... 1970 through 79 ish in 79 or 80 there was a transition period i think 82 was the first year of actual true harley davidson's after amf um, the evo didn't come out till who i'm gonna say 89 i'm not real sure on the evo i'm a shovelhead guy but i'm learning about evo so some of you guys can comment and correct me on that um, so basically, this is a fun motor. It's been stroked. I haven't measured the bore and stroke on it, but I'm believing it's a 96 inch stock. This would have been an 80 cubic inch, um, which would have been 1340 cc. So if it's stroked out, it could be up in the range of 1600 cc's, give or take. We won't know that till we tear it out. And basically, this is just tear down to get this bike ready for Mikey. Okay, so we are close, guys. Transmission's loose, so we're taking this chain off like so, and then we're going to just pull it off the ass end of the bike, he says. All right, so there is one chain, and next is transmission once the linkage is gone, and we're going to stuff this up here, maybe. 
Okay, fine. All right, guys, you can see we're almost loose here. Next step is out she comes. I lied. <laughs> Transmission removal. If we did everything right, we should be able to mean muscle that transmission out. Yay, us. Okay, here's our ratchet top four speed transmission. We're pulling the top, which is a ratchet top transmission. And there's the inside. You can see your counter shaft, your main shaft, and all your gears. It's a nice clean gearbox. This is going to be a good runner. All right, if you guys made it to the end, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please kickstart that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, comment what you guys think. Let me know. If you have any suggestions for videos or other topics you'd like covered, I'll try and do my best to get them in my next projects. You guys can also follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. See the links below. See you on the next video.